my apologies for the clickbaity title what's going on everybody welcome back to the dorky and 40 channel today we are going to talk about something that's super important we're going to talk about the mythical mysterious unicorn radio esc tricks old news to some of you but to me and a lot of other no prep drag rc people this is the game changer and this is something that you at least need to know about what we are talking about is using speed and throttle staging built in to your radio control in order to mimic the way that the mclan drk operates with its launch stages and timing now it's not a hundred percent it's not going to be exactly like the mclan but it is dang close. And when you combine that with the power that all of these manufacturers are putting into the different ESCs, you are gonna see why this is awesome. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video now is A, everybody needs to know, and B, I'm using it myself. I have a lot of stuff that I've shot already on the Breakout, the Tekken RX-8 Gen 3, and the Hobbywing XR10 Pro G2. And it all revolves around this. This is the Futaba 7P XR. This is the radio I am using now. Yes, the price is expensive. A lot of other people are using the Sanwa M17. There's plenty of other radios that you can use this. I've seen the cheapest one is actually the Fly Sky Noble that has all of these features built into them too. Now your RTR radios and stuff like that just will not have this stuff. I have links to both of these items below in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links. You can click on anything down there, buy anything you want on Amazon, and I'll get a little commission for it. So thanks a lot for helping out the channel. So what exactly does this look like? Well, let's go to the bench and take a look and I will walk you through what I am doing on my breakout Tekken build. So here's the Futaba radio in all of its glory. I love it. I definitely think it is overpriced, but you know, what isn't in this hobby? I am very happy that I own it. The receivers are a good price. Everything's awesome. I love it. Anyway, it's not a review on the remote. So we're gonna zoom in here on the screen so you can see a little bit easier on exactly what is going on here. So if we go in and look at the user menu under the breakout, we're gonna see this first tab here called speed. You're gonna see steering speed and throttle speed. We're gonna click on throttle speed and I'm gonna pull my trigger to full and I want you to watch the blue line here. See how there was a delay and how long that took? Now let me, and that was at 70. Let me turn this down to 10. Full throttle and you see how long that takes? What we are doing is slowing down how long it takes to get to 100% throttle. So you can turn all that fancy stuff up on your ESC take advantage of all of its power and never have to worry about anything. You could use any manufacturer. You could try out different stuff. You don't have to worry about finding a, a McLan or whatever. Now there's more to it than just that. Here is where we get into all of the cool stages. So we could go to a two stage and now you see we have two different thresholds here where we can actually change where we want this threshold here to be and where we want the other one to be and if we pull the trigger you can see how it will go slower at the beginning and then ramp faster if i go over here turn this back up to 100 now you're going to see how fast it's actually going to ramp even more. Boom. Pow. There's your, there's your big hit right there. So obviously that's going to be too much for what I'm looking for. I'm going to turn mine back down to 70. That's what I've been practicing with with the actual Tekken right now. Now we can also go one more. Boom. There's three stages. Green, yellow, and red. Watch this. See that? Full trigger. We have complete control on how long we want these to be, how fast each one of them is going to ramp, everything else. So we can lower 
this down a little bit and make that green a little bit smaller. Let's say we want that to be like the first 20% of the throttle, and then we'll leave 75 here to be the next from 25% to 75%, and then we have the ramp there at the end. So this is going to increase at a speed of 5, 15, and 70. So you can see how it gradually gets faster as it goes into the yellow. We could turn that up and make it accelerate faster through the middle of the trigger pull. And if we want to, we can go ahead and turn this all the way up here. And now we'll get a nice boom clip right at the end there. So you can see it's just nice and smooth. Don't really want that snap at the end though. Your car may or may not take it. I want to try to control everything and make it as smooth as possible. So uh, that is basically all you have. You've got the three stages. I'm going back to stage one because that's what I'm using right now with my Tekken and I'm working on individual settings. But that is my 100% full throttle speed right there. If you really wanted to get crazy, you could put this into a video editor and you could get the timing on it on how long it actually takes for it to go to 100%. You could dial that in if you say wanted to hit 100% in one second, if you wanted to hit it in 1.1, 1.2, all you got to do is set up the turn. Return basically means how fast it comes back when you let go. Real simple, real easy. Now there are a few things that you want to be aware of. First of all, you want to make sure everything is set to default 100 when you do your ESC calibration. Then make your changes. Anytime that you need to reset your ESC, if you flash firmware or whatever, make sure you set your staging back to one and 100 and then recalibrate. From there, you're free to do anything that you want to do. This also is true for endpoints. I know last year when we didn't have all these tools to our advantage, what I had to do was actually just chop off the last 25% or 30% of the throttle and I don't think it really scaled it, but anyway, it just made things a little bit easier to control. Nothing like this. So if you do any endpoint adjustments, you also need to reset all that stuff back to the regular defaults before you do your calibrations. Then you can do that after you're all done and calibrated. Now, some people are even doing this with the Macklin DRK itself to add in even more fine tuning. Sometimes you're just on a road or you're in a situation like I found myself today where I could get 50% launch power but sometimes I could get 55, it was back and forth. Now I could have plugged in the Macklin and just put it to 52, but what I decided to do was just turn on the one stage, drop the power down to 90, and then add that in, and it worked out just fine. You could also add in more stages if you wanted to, but that would just overcomplicate things. It's nice to just leave things simple. So on my Tekken videos, we're starting out with just this single stage operation while we get used to learning what the ESC features can do. And then once we get beyond that, then we'll start adding in multiple stages so we can just pour on the power when we need to and when we want to. So that's going to be it, guys. I hope this video made sense to you. Hopefully you got one of these radios or maybe go pick up that fly sky. That's a good investment. If you are looking to take advantage or try some other manufacturers that are out there. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.